Welcome to Roland Academy's Support Tutorials video series. Today's lesson will be print cut with the TU2 take up system. Step 1. Select TU2 mode when loading media. With the control lever up, there are three options on the control panel to choose from roll, TU, and TU2. For today's lesson, we'll be using TU2. After lowering the control lever to lock the wheels, the control panel will then prompt you to load sheet to take up. Step 2. Load media to dancer bar. There are two methods to load media to the dancer bar to begin the take up process. One is the pre-feed method. By holding the down arrow key, you will feed the media out of the front of the machine to an acceptable length at which you can then attach the media to the included core with your TU2 take-up system. The other is to print your job until you have enough media to actually attach to the core. While this does save media, an additional feed calibration may have to be performed because the tension on the media is different and it will feed differently. Once you have enough media, it's time to attach. For the purposes of this video, we'll be using masking tape. We'll attach in the middle first, and then we'll move out to the sides. When attaching media to any type of take-up system, you'll want at least two points of contact to ensure that you get proper adhesion between the media and the core. You'll notice we're leaving plenty of tape left over so that we get a very good grip against the core. And as you can see here, we have at least three points. This is in no way a maximum. You can have as many points as possible to make sure the media is attached to the core. Because this is a tension-based take-up system, it will be pulling on the media, and an improperly mounted media onto the take-up will actually release itself from the core and ruin your job. For optimum tension and to avoid skew, we attach in the middle before moving to the sides. When finished, hit enter to confirm. The machine will feed slack and then prompt you to tilt the dancer bar forward. Simply grab the dancer bar and pull it forward until it stops. You've now placed tension on the media. Hit enter to confirm. Next, it will ask you to check the take-up setting. Step 3. Set take-up controller unit mode. For the purposes of this video, we're webbed up forward. However, backward is also a useful method, depending on your media and your personal tastes. Hit enter to confirm. Because this is TU2 mode, the dancer ball will go to its maximum distance. Under TU1, it would begin to take up media. Step 4. Using Custom Cut in Roland VersaWorks. Because TU2 is a hardware function, the machine is programmed to accept print and cut data and then feed forward. But since you only have about a foot between the dancer bar and the floor, there's a problem of your graphics getting dirty. So we use the Custom Cut function. In VersaWorks, we'll set up our decal size at 6 inches, and we'll click Get Media With so that VersaWorks knows the workable area. As we saw earlier, it said 34.9 on the control panel of the machine. So now VersaWorks and the machine are communicating. Choose Custom Cut from the drop-down menu, which will then default back to a set of standards for the device. Since it's a VS420, it will be 42 inches. Change this back to the value that we had before, so that you can determine your width based on what the machine is ready to print on. And then we'll enter our height manually. Remember we talked about a foot? 13 inches is about the maximum you can get before your graphics touch the floor. And as you can see, we have a 34.9 by 13 inch work area where you can start adding as many decals as will fit inside your page area. To minimize waste, we can then shorten our page so that only our graphic is printing. And click center on the media. Step 5. Sending a job for print cut with the take-up. Now that we've created our page, it's time to create the job. 
Since the job calls for 250 decals, we can now see that our page of 10 becomes 25 pages of 10. Using the TU2 mode with custom cut, you've now taken a 250 decal print cut job and split it up into 25 individual jobs that will all be sent in succession to the printer unattended using the TU2 take up system. We'll click OK and we'll rip and print our job. The Roland print cut process is unchanged. The print head will move back and forth printing out your decals as it would under normal conditions. When it's finished, it will dock the print head, rewind your media back to origin, detach the cutting head, and proceed with its contour cutting job. as shown here. While it's performing its cutting, you'll notice that there is a significant amount of slack on the material and the take-up has not actually begun doing its job yet. This is how TU2 mode works. It accepts print data, then cut data, then begins the take-up process. After the cut job is complete, it will then wind back to origin and begin taking up. So as you can see, once the dancer bar reaches the end of its travel, that signifies the take-up control box to begin winding up the core, as you can see behind the media. The core is winding up in place until we've proceeded into the next base point origin, immediately ready to start the new job. With our first job finished, let's pan back up to see that the printer is already moving on to the next job, completely unattended, and ready to print cut again. This is the standard TU2 process available in the Versicam VS series printer cutters, as well as our LEC UV print cut devices. This concludes our tutorial for today. If you have any questions regarding the TU2 take-up system or the TU2 print cut process, you can visit us on the web at rollandga.com or give us a call at 800-542-2307. Thank you for joining us.